If I place some objects inside a box located in outer space, they would all float around, feeling weightless. But if the objects were inside a box which is falling down on earth, they would also float around, feeling weightless. Hence Einstein said that the laws of physics inside free fall and outer space were the same. Let's say I put two balls inside a box and then drop the box on earth. The balls fall towards the center of the earth. As they fall down, the balls move closer and closer as each of them is attracted to the center of the earth. Remember we had said that the laws of physics inside free fall would be the same as that in outer space. So let's say I put the same box in outer space. The two balls just float around whereas in free fall the two balls come closer. So does this mean that the laws of physics are different? To understand this we need to take a closer look at gravity. Now for example, if you want to meet someone, you will tell him to meet you at some place, at some time. But is there a way in which you could meet him without even telling the place and time? If me and my friend start walking in straight lines, we would think that we would never meet. But since earth is curved, we do not travel in straight lines and actually do meet at the north pole. Take two apples which are moving down parallel to each other. If we plot their position with respect to time, we will get two parallel trajectories which never meet. This is called a flat space time as two parallel lines stay parallel. But what if space time was curved? This time the two apples will still travel in straight lines but on a curved space time. This is like the case of the two people on earth who also travelled in straight lines but on a curved surface and so they met. Hence, the two apples meet in the exact same way as the people did in curved space-time. So the two balls in the falling box also follow straight lines, but since space-time is curved around earth, their parallel trajectories meet just like the apples did. So why does an apple fall on earth? It has a straight trajectory through space-time, but since space-time is curved, the straight line trajectory of the apple meets that of earth. This is what we really mean by gravity, the curvature of space-time which causes two objects to meet which otherwise would not have met in flat space-time. I kept on saying that space-time was curved around earth because an object with mass such as the sun and stars always curves space-time. 